A Houston based aerospace company just landed the contract of a lifetime to help NASA return to the moon and they're making history at the same time. Xavier Walton explains. That's exactly what it's going to look like. This is a uh, beautiful spacecraft. It's like a hand built Ferrari. Hand built and homemade in Houston. Intuitive Machines is making its mark on Earth, but in the not so distant future, will leave footprints on the moon. Intuitive Machines is first to return the United States to the moon in 50 years. We'll also be first to land on the South Pole, and now we'll be first to land in the Reiner Gamma magnetic anomaly. The moon mission is set for 2024. The cost, $77.5 million. NASA is footing the bill. The Nova Sea Lunar Lander is tasked with four very complex payloads. The latest contract is Intuitive Machines' third with NASA. So I'd be outside at night often and you know looking up the moon. That's Ryan Steffen. He's the integration manager for NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services, or CLIPS, initiative. So this is a really interesting area of the moon that, that you know has perplexed scientists for years, and we're going to collect this magnetic information. And summarize what NASA is trying to accomplish with these payloads. What we ultimately want to do is we want to unlock this lunar economy. Lunar economy. Those two words don't really go hand in hand in my head, but for you, you're saying it like it's second nature. Uh, it, it's ingrained in me in second nature, I, to be honest with you. I, I mean, no, it still blows my mind. As for the CEO at Intuitive Machines, it's only up from here. The payload community can then count on Intuitive Machines to fly them to the moon. Fly me to the moon. That's the goal we set out. Let me play up there with those stars. And here we are executing against it. In Space City, Xavier Walton, KHOU 11 News.